The 2017 Lexus is When the Lexus is debuted for the 2013 model year, it was a sporty sedan that sold much better than even Lexus had expected. Now that the model is a few years old, Lexus took it upon itself to give its sporty little entry-level sedan a refresh. There isn't a whole lot that changed, but the headlight units take on a different shape, and the front fascia is sportier than ever. There are also new taillight units, new wheel designs, and even a couple new colors. On the inside, the infotainment display screen has received an update, and there are a few other refinements within the cabin. The AS safety equipment even got a little love with this refresh. All of that sounds pretty good for a refresh, doesn't it? It's not the most elaborate refresh, the same engines carry over from before, but there is enough newness to keep the little sedan fresh until the next generation model comes to life. But, the real question is, will the refresh be enough to keep sales of Lexus entry-level sedan soaring as they have for the last three years? Only time will tell, but now that the refresh does has debuted at the Beijing Auto Show, let's take a closer look at what Lexus did in hopes of maintaining the car's overwhelming success. Updated April 25, 2016, Lexus unveiled the revised as at the 2016 Beijing Auto Show. Continue reading to learn more about the 2017 Lexus as. Exterior For the most part, the overall appearance of the AS has remained the same, but there are some pretty interesting changes. Up front, the same Lexus grille remains, but it folds back a little higher than before, giving the front end more character. The grille also features horizontal louvers all the way to the bottom. The checkmark LED runners below the headlights now seem to be more stretched out, and the headlights themselves are a little more jagged than before. Down below, the corner vents are much more aggressive and larger than before. They are backed by a black trim insert that gives the appearance of unlimited depth. Because of this design, the nose looks like it protrudes from the car a little farther than before. In other words, the front end isn't anywhere near as flat as it once was. Because of this design, the nose looks like it protrudes from the car a little farther than before. To the sides, there are no structural changes to speak of. Considering the current generation has such a high approval rate, Lexus opted to leave the body lines and side styling alone. Even the mirrors and side skirts have carried over from last year's model. To the rear, the Lexus is has a lot of the same going on. The taillights have the same shape, but the internal layout has changed. The reverse lights are now on the lower edge of the decklid mounted lens, and the piping inside has a more dramatic layout. Down below, the same shark fin shaped reflectors are on each corner. The exhaust outlets are now rectangular, and the rear diffuser now has five fins spread between the exhaust outlets. With the refresh comes two new exterior color schemes, deep blue mica and graphite black glass flake. In addition, 10-spoke, 17-inch wheels are standard on the AS, but there are several new designs with bright machine finishes. All told, it's not a bad refresher when you consider how lazy some manufacturers have been with their updates recently. Interior On the inside, there are a few interesting changes to speak of. First off, the moonstone and ivory colors have been replaced by Chateau, which is a light shade of gray. As you can see from the image above, the door trim panels feature the same red leather as the seats. There is also red contrast stitching on the center console. A new feature for this year is the stitching on the overhang of the instrument cluster. The speedometer and tachometer have been refined and are no much cleaner. The car also received newly designed cup holders that now are now connected by an opening in the middle. The overall design of the dash has remained the same, but that infotainment screen has been updated from a measly 7 inches up to 10.3 inches. The overall design of the dash has remained the same, but that infotainment screen has been updated from a measly 7 inches up to 10.3 inches, a huge improvement if you ask me. Furthermore, enter buttons have been added to the sides of the remote touch interface, which should make using the system much easier than before. As you can see, the HVAC control system has been redesigned to sit farther back in the center stack and sports a hairline finish, giving the interior a much cleaner look. Overall the interior hasn't changed all that much, but it has changed enough for the purposes of a redesign. Just looking at the images here, the AS looks to be more comfortable, inviting, and more luxurious than ever. I'm especially a fan of the red, black, and gray color scheme shown off in these pictures. 
Drivetrain Since Lexus made some headway in drivetrain department for the 2016 model year, it comes as no surprise that the refreshed model will offer the same engine lineup. The AS200T comes with the same 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder that delivers 241 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. Moving up to the IS300 all-wheel drive will get you a 3.5-liter that delivers a greasy 255 horsepower and 306 pound-feet of torque. In the range topping IS350, the 3.5-liter is tuned to deliver a decent 306 horsepower and 277 pound-feet of torque. In the range topping IS350, the 3.5-liter is tuned to deliver a decent 306 horsepower and 277 pound-feet of torque. On the lesser models, power is sent to the wheels via an 8-speed automatic transmission. The 300 AWD gets a 6-speed automatic, and the IS350 gets an 8-speed direct shift automatic. All told, the AS200T should be able to hit the 60 mph sprint in 6.9 seconds on the way to a top speed of 143 miles per hour. The IS300 AWD can hit the same benchmark in 6.1 seconds with a top speed 131 miles per hour. The IS350 has the same 131 mph top speed, but can hit 60 miles per hour from a dead stop in 5.7 seconds. Not bad for an entry-level luxury sedan, right? Safety The same safety equipment carries over from the previous year. That means the AS comes with 10 SRS airbags, two-stage dual front airbags, driver and front passenger knee airbags, front and rear side airbags, and full-length curtain airbags. Furthermore, the AS now comes with Lexus Safety System Plus, which includes a pre-collision system, lane departure alert with steering assist, automatic high beam lights, and radar cruise control. Prices Lexus has yet to divulge pricing details for the refreshed IS, but the current model starts out at $37,325 for the IS200T and climbs to $43,035 for the range-topping IS350 with all-wheel drive. Given the nature of this refresh, expect the prices to climb by maybe $1,000 to $1,500 at most for each trim level. Competition Audi A4 the Audi A4 offers about the same level of sportiness on the outside, and just as luxurious interior appointments. The A4 is offered in three different trims starting with the Premium, then the Premium Plus, and finally the Prestige. All trims come standard with a 2.0-liter, turbocharged, four-cylinder that delivers 252 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. From a dead stop, the A4 can hit the 60 mph sprint in 6.1 seconds on the way to a top speed of 130 mph. Fuel economy is estimated to be 25 mpg in the city, 33 mpg on the highway, and 28 mpg combined. As of the time of this writing, the premium starts out at $37,300, while the premium plus starts out at $41,100, and the prestige starts out at $45,900. Read our full review on the Audi A4 here. Mercedes C-Class The C-Class is the default go-to for luxury and performance in a smaller package. It is oft in six different variants, including the base model C300, the C304 Modic, C350 E plug-in hybrid, C450 AMG, AMG C63, and AMG C63S in base form. The C-Class offers 241 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque from its 2.0-liter four-cylinder. The hybrid uses the same engine along with an electric motor to deliver 275 horsepower and a whopping 442 pound-feet. The C450 gets the venerable 3.0-liter V6 that ignites your manhood to the tune of 362 horsepower and 384 pound-feet of torque. The Bonkers AMG C63 and C63S have a handcrafted 4.0-liter that offers 469 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of twist or an arousing 503 horsepower and 516 pound-feet, respectively. 
Pricing for the C-Class starts out at $38,950, with a $2,000 premium for the 4 Modic. The hybrid commands $45,490, the C450 hits the wallet for $50,800, the C63 will set you back $65,250, and the range topping C63S will cost you $73,250 and possibly a divorce. Read our full review on the Mercedes C-Class here. Conclusion now that the Beijing Auto Show has kicked off and we've finally seen the refreshed as in all its glory, it's pretty clear that Lexus did a pretty decent job with this refresh. If you haven't noticed, manufacturers have been getting pretty lazy with mid-cycle refreshes in recent years, and hopefully, the is is an indication that the days of shoddy, lazy mid-cycle updates are gone. I am curious to see what Lexus does with the pricing point, though. Surely with all of the extra features the pricing will increase some, but hopefully not too much. At this point, Lexus better be hard at work developing the next generation. In a few years, the brand is going to have a lot of work to do to improve on what it already has here. Love it more aggressive front-end sportier styling decent interior enhancements. Leave it room to expand with higher trim levels strong competition. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.